all set and here we go in today's video we are going to take the session of forces in space ahead and we are going to solve two different types of uh, problems the first type is going to be examples based on the resultant of concurrent forces but in a 3d environment in 3d space so i j k all of them will be there and uh, you need to work out the resultant of forces okay the problems will be of this kind it's going to be very interesting right very very interesting so everything is in 3d the second type of problem that i'll be discussing in today's session is going to be all about equilibrium of concurrent forces in space equilibrium of forces that means summation fx summation fy summation fz and even the moments are going to be equal to zero right it is going to be absolute fun so do watch both the examples right till the end and i'm sure that your concepts about forces in 3d space will be absolutely clear if you haven't still watched the previous lecture that is lecture number six go ahead and watch that first because there i had explained how to express a vector in the 3d notation and uh, all those unit vectors and uh, and how to use them basically so let's get started with today's video here we go all right here we go so in today's video we'll be solving examples which are based on working out the resultant of concurrent forces in space this is going to be interesting here we go example one okay so so we have this arrangement where we've got a, a flat slab you can say right and uh, it is kept in this position with the help of these cables a b and a c now the tension in a b is 275 whereas the tension in a c is 450 very well <coughs> now in a c this is the tension uh, no, no 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 what is the direction uh, for a and for c for a and for b this is t a b this is t a c <coughs> all right right sir what we really need to work out is the magnitude and direction of the resultant at a so you have to consider these two forces t a c and t a b that is the first thing so let me mark them Done. this is what has been given in the question so in order to find the resultant now, until now for two forces resultants can be worked out simply using the parallelogram technique so you've got a force here <clears throat> can you drop a parallel like this and parallel to this force like this then this over here starting from a is going to qualify as the resultant yes sir we know this do you <laughs> so this is the resultant how do you calculate the resultant sir it's very simple if you can just bring this uh, tab force over here then what we can say is that uh, these two forces tac and tab represent the two sides of a triangle okay in magnitude and direction then the third side closing side will be the resultant taken in opposite order and this is vectorially written as the resultant r will be equal to tab okay plus tac but sir uh, we still don't know these forces okay these tension forces vector notation so this is something that we'll first work out and then add them to get the resultant okay so our first priority is to have the vector forms of tension ab and ac let's start with that okay and these are basically the coordinates at a c and b this is something that you should be able to work out let me just give you a demo again uh these axis x z and y axis this has been given in the question just to ensure that all the students get to the same answer okay if someone chooses the coordinate system at c and if someone chooses it over here then their answers are going to be completely different it will become difficult for the checker right so that's why you have a same coordinate system right positive x positive z positive y so uh, let us talk about this point this is x what is the value so this is 39 in the positive x direction that is plus 39 y is above is this point above the origin no sir that's why zero is this point is this point in front of the origin here here z no sir that's why zero similarly <coughs> this x is 39 yes so agreed along x this is along z so z is 52 and is it above no sir that's why y is zero similarly you can work out 0 24 and 12 i'm sure you can do that now what we'll do is we'll simply work out the vector forms of tac and ta here they are 
okay for tab it is going to be the magnitude of ab as you know the magnitude is 275 here it is written clearly very clearly and t ab is along this ab direction okay so ab cap right simple how to approach here we go <clears throat> so this from a to b from initial to final tail head so final minus initial okay so let's start 39 minus 0 i cap okay here it is agreed yes sir uh, then we've got uh, 0 minus 24 j cap then we've got 0 minus 12 k cap done so these are the coefficient square them up add them inside and under root okay solve it right so that you have uh, <clears throat> very proper coefficients for i j and k cap yeah they are very simple i suppose very very simple isn't it so everything will become easy once you have these coordinates and once you know how to find the unit vector unit vector is very important particularly for solving problems based on forces in space tac so this is tac this is uh, the vector ac and its unit vector is over here so let me just write so initial this is final agreed okay let's start so uh, this is going to be 39 minus 0 i cap yes sir then it is going to be 0 minus 24 j cap yes sir then it is going to be 52 minus 12 k cap yes sir these are the coefficients square them add them inside an under root this is what you get okay simplify it simplify it done yes sir done so we've got tab we've got tac add them up so that you can have the vector form of the resultant as well so 226 plus 288 whatever you get with an i cap uh, 139 177 both them both of them negative signs so you are basically adding these two when you add them this is what you get and when you add <coughs> these two this is what you get okay so <laughs> i'm sure now you understand what these results are okay now uh, we've got the resultant okay the vector form of the resultant these are the x y and z components we can also find the magnitude of the resultant these are just the x y and z components in order to find the magnitude you need to take the modulus square add inside and under root go ahead all the coefficients 515 317 226 do it solve it this is what you get if you want to go ahead and uh, find what are the angles that this r a the resultant is making with the x y and the z axis that can be done very easily using these cosines right directional cosines we call it popularly so what you need over here is simply the x component divided by the resultants magnitude here you can see okay or the y component divided by the resultants magnitude here you see and similarly is the case of cos gamma or the z component <clears throat> just plug in the values uh, do the inverse this is what you get these are the values <laughs> i suppose this has been very very basic for you so computing the resultants is no big deal you just need to have a very good idea as to how forces can be expressed in 3d you need unit vectors you need to understand the concept of that very very nicely okay so here we go uh, in the previous session we have seen that there is a single point and then there are two 3d forces or space forces passing through it and uh, how can we calculate the resultant from that we've seen that okay and the most important thing has been the idea of a unit vector so if you have understood the concept of calculating or determining a unit vector then things are going to get very easy for you if you still haven't go watch the first lecture right anyways so today's class is going to be all about establishing equilibrium that means the body is going to maintain its state of rest and let us understand that with the help of this beautiful example and uh, here we go very interesting so there is this 160 kg cylinder held in equilibrium this is held in equilibrium with the help of three cables ab ac and ad lovely uh, i don't know whether you are able to see this properly there is this green cable okay this is beneath this plate and on the plate the cable has been fastened or fixed okay whatever right so at different locations at c at b 
and at D. You can work out the coordinates at these very points with the help of these uh, sort of dimensions. Secondly, we've also been given uh, where the origin is. This is exactly where the origin is. And here, from over here, uh, we have got a string through which this cylinder, whose mass is 160 kg, has been suspended. Lovely. You just need to work out the tension along this cable AC, along this cable AB and AD. Can you do this? We surely can. Let me just start. Okay, so the game begins. Here we go. <clears throat> TAC, TAB, TAD. But how to start, sir? Simply try to work out the vector form of TAC, AB and AD. Once you do that, you'll understand. Okay, but remember, if a body is maintaining its state of equilibrium until now, we've been working in 2D. So we said that forces equal to zero, summation of FY equal to zero. But now we are working in 3D to summation of Okay, but we are not going to consider all of these things. There is going to be one single equation. Since we are going to <clears throat> be using vectors, you don't have to do this separately for X, Y, and Z components. You simply write summation of all the forces. Put an arrow over there because we'll be following vectors is equal to zero. Okay, how to achieve this? This is going to be interesting. Anyway, so uh, let's start with TAC. Okay. So I have the coordinates. I don't know whether you guys have understood. For example, this, <clears throat> this point is along the Z axis. Okay. This is along the Z axis. So X and Y components are going to be zero. Only this much is going to be there. This is 300. So positive 300, positive 300. Similarly, you take a look at this point. This is behind the origin. This is positive Z. So this is going to be negative Z. Okay. So 250 negative. This is positive X. This is negative X. So how much forward is this? This is 380 forward positive X and Y obviously is going to be zero. So I am sure that you can work out the remaining coordinates because it is these coordinates, which is good, which are going to help us uh, establish the vector form for all the three tensions. Let's start. Here we go. <clears throat> what is this? Sir? This is what is known as magnitude you know this what is this uh, unit vector along the direction ac by the way this is ac okay so once you have these two quantities you can write the vector form but we still don't know what is the magnitude sir okay so instead of writing this inside modulus uh, let me have a very simple way i'll write it simply as tac that is the magnitude okay from now on i don't want to write this inside the lines again and again ac yes sir initial final okay sir so final minus initial zero minus zero i cap sir yes done then zero minus minus of 580 that is zero plus 580 j cap and similarly you've got 300 minus zero k cap all the coefficients square add inside and under root simplify this is what you get okay don't expect calculations and simplification of math from my side. This is what you'll get. You can verify it. Done, sir. <clears throat> For AB, this is what we'll do. Right? Magnitude, unit vector along the direction of AB. Let me have this. Initial. Final. 340 minus 0. I cap. Okay, minus 340 minus 0 y cap. Done, sir. 0 minus of minus 580. 0 plus 580 j cap. And then minus 250 minus 0 k cap. Done. All the coefficients square add inside and under root. This is what you get. And similarly, if you keep going ahead, uh, as far as TAD is concerned, this is how you need to write it. And uh, let us work out the unit vector. 380 minus 0 i cap. Then 0 minus of minus 580, that is 0 plus 580 j cap. Then 250 minus 0 k cap. Okay, this is minus 250 by the way. Now, in this entire journey of solving the questions, especially concerned with forces in space, I have, I've understood that you've got to be very focused. I was listening to a podcast when I was uh, making all of these solutions and I realized that uh, <coughs> doing 
two things simultaneously will not benefit you so you've got to be focused if you're solving a problem there is nothing else that you should be doing okay remember this yeah uh then square red this is what you get and that's the final value so we have tad we have ta p t a c let me write all of them separately over here and then finally as i told you summation of all the forces will be zero this is what we will do summation t a b t a c t a d tensions and this is the weight of the cylinder which is acting in the downward direction so sir this is a uh, plus j cap isn't it any force along this direction of positive y is plus j cap so in the negative direction this is going to be minus j cap agreed so this is going to be minus 1569.6 minus 1569.6 j cap okay since it is opposite all right here we go <clears throat> so what have i just done what is this sir let me explain i will add all of these tensions okay and then i will also add weight to it summation of all of these forces should work out equal to zero because this is what equilibrium tells us that the summation of the net force is equal to zero take a look at this do you have any i cap no sir here we have i cap so minus 0.474 tab is the first thing here exactly i have written minus 0.474 tab secondly you've got this 0.515 tad one more coefficient for i cap okay so these two are the coefficients of i cap and i've placed them inside a bracket beautifully now we are going to look for the coefficients of j cap point what are they let me mark them one more with tab with tac one more with tad yeah they are check it triple eight eight oh eight seven eight six done okay make sure you are assigning proper signs so all of them were positive no issues so this is j caps coefficients <clears throat> finally k cap 0.459 minus 348 0.459 minus 348 and uh, 0.348 by the way minus 0.339 <coughs> done okay so one more thing is left as i told you the weight of the cylinder will act in the downward direction 1569.6 so above had it been upwards it cannot be upwards uh, this would have been positive plus j cap so since this is downwards this is minus j cap so let me write it like this minus 1569.6 j cap done okay <clears throat> you can also write this as let me tell you zero i cap zero uh j cap plus zero k cap isn't it i is coefficient these are i is coefficient j is coefficient is this one over here inside the bracket and one more minus 1569 right so uh take i is coefficient all of them together in that case you can make an equation let me show you 0.474 minus of 0.474 tab plus 0.515 tad it will be equal to zero okay so comparing the coefficients of i cap on both the sides of equal to sign this is what you get right okay but what is this actually uh <clears throat> there are three unknowns tab tac and tad for three unknowns you need three equations and in order to solve three equations you need to put in a lot of effort but i'm going to be using this calculator and when i use this calculator i have to arrange the equations the, the coefficients the variables in a way that i should be able to provide the sufficient inputs in a proper way right and that's why i'm writing tac first but as far as this coefficient of i cap is concerned you've got only two variables tab and tad tab and tad we don't have tac so i have the coefficient i have taken is zero zero times of tac is zero it makes no difference okay then you've got this which is equal to coefficient of i cap as zero secondly you'll see this one over here let me write this coefficients of j cap minus 1569.6 j here it is all of it minus 1569.6 so i'm trying to arrange the equation in a special manner right something which is going to make 
the task much more easier for me and thirdly <coughs> you've got the coefficient of k cap and here it is equal to zero okay and here it is this much so let me equate it done on solving these three equations you are going to get the final result of t look here we have the coefficients of tac 0 0.88 all the coefficients of tab all the coefficients of tad and this should be over to the right hand side of equal to sign okay because that is exactly how the calculator expects you to frame your equation let me just show this to you <coughs> here we go Hmm. go to mode for equation hit 5 now our equation is of the form ax plus by plus cz equal to d equal to d so here this d has to be shifted to the right hand side and then the values have to be inputted right so we're going to go for 2 a <clears throat> what's a sir so this is 0 0 enter b minus 0.474 done yes 0 0.515 0.515 done and d this is zero enter point triple eight point triple eight point eight zero eight done point seven eight six done and this when you shift it towards the right will be positive so one five six nine point six then you've got this TAC that is 0 0.459, 0 0.459 minus 0 0.348 minus 0 0.3390. Zero. <coughs> Hit enter once again. And here, this is enter. Okay, it is going to do some calculations. And this is the final result 803 and 558 and 514 that means this 803 is tac then you've got the value of tab tac is 803 tab is 51558 and tad is 514 that's it very simple okay let me get this back to the normal mode shift 93 equal to equal to and here we go let me show the result here it is perfect